Well, Connor, it's been a pretty long road for you to get back to this point where you're back out on the grass now, but we'll go all the way back to that Rochdale game. Talk us through everything that happened at that moment. Um, it wasn't a pleasant game. I think it was 0-0 or we, we conceded that we lost. We lost 1-0. I don't really like thinking about that day, to be honest. It was probably one of the worst days of my life. Caseiro was probably late on into the game. I was on the receiving end of a bad tackle. And initially, I didn't think, I just thought, just an impact injury or something. And obviously, we went into the change room straight as soon as I came off. Got assessed by the doctor and the, uh, the physio here, and they knew that my knee had gone. And obviously, building up to that, I had a scan, or I went to see the surgeon a couple of days later. And then we knew straight away I needed surgery. and. It was it was it was tough to get over at the time, but like I say, now I'm probably in one of the best mental positions I've ever been physically. I feel fantastic. Like I say, I, I know it sounds a bit weird, but I actually think I probably needed the injury, not maybe so long term, but I actually needed the injury to kind of give me a kick up the bum, just to just to make me realise how much how much football means to me and and how much I need to rely on my body day to day. You can often say with an injury just how difficult it is on the mental side of things because you get taken out of a group activity that you've grown up with you're doing everything day to day and the life does completely change talk us through that mental you know difficulty of it really i remember it the first game of this season was probably the hardest one of, like one of the hardest days i've had to face in my 27 years on this life like not being available for selection obviously not by choice i've i've had days where i've not been I've been picked, but I've been fit. But this time, seeing the lads go out and win 4-0 and not even being a part of it, was it hurt. I remember driving home and it was, it was actually quite upsetting. I'll say the lads have won 4-0 to get the season going. And I wasn't even able to like share the, share the joy and kick start the season with them. So that hurt a bit. I can imagine so, because like you say, literally, when you're doing that one thing every day, you're still in and around the group, but you're then seeing the lads go outside, kick the ball about and you have to be really strict with what you're doing in terms of the rehab, don't you? Yeah, like I say, my rehab's been quite good. Um, I think I'm ahead of schedule at the minute. I remember the first day back of pre-season, the lads going out. I think they had a little bit of ball work. I was just watching watching through the doors, thinking, I wish that was me. I'm sat in there on a bike, doing non-stop weights, getting in at 7 o'clock in the morning, sometimes being in training on for eight hours, just trying to catch up to, to where I should be and, and get myself in the best physical state to come back. Fortunately and unfortunately, you've had quite a large group in the uh, the injury room with you because I know it can be quite a, a lonely state if you are in there by yourself just constantly working through stuff with Ellie and you and, and, and Dan but what's it been like having a group with you to help you go through that process as well and Joss going through a similar sort of process at the same time? Yeah it's been good like I say we've the, the new lads came in in the summer and some of them were already injured and some of them were were injured in pre-season so like I said we got together quite good I think we've got a great group in there I know we don't I shouldn't really say we've got a great group because we don't all want to be in there but as it stands we are all in there and we do have a good group and we all get along well I think we do push each other push each other quite well like I say Osh was out this morning running and I'm giving him come on Osh come on Osh he's doing the same for me when I'm out this morning Labs is Labs is a, a month or so behind me I think and like I say we're at a little bit at different stages now but we still push each other on and want each other to do the best as well. I suppose, again, you can't really rush this process because if you do, it could come back to harm you later on in your career, couldn't it? Well, that was the that was the words from the surgeon. Like you say, you're, you're advised to take the nine months. I think I'm ahead of schedule and I don't want to I don't want to speak too soon. But like I say, I'm moving pretty well. I've had I've had no complications up to now. It's been a pretty it's been tough, but it's been pretty smooth sailing. And we're just going to go off of how I feel and, and the best time to return. The motivators that seem to be with you whilst it's getting back out there and playing football, Dan and Ellie really seem to have pushed you so far. I, I can't thank them enough. Like I say, I, I asked to come in at 7 o'clock in the morning or 7.30 and they're here with me. So we do our sometimes three or four sessions a day and they won't leave until God knows when. But like I say, I get in at 7.30 and they've never complained once about coming in and doing extras with me and anything I've needed along the way they've done, anything I've wanted they've helped me with. Like I say, they've just been kept me going back out on the grass now it seems to be one of those final processes now of getting you really back up to speed and just making sure you're ready and raring to go when that moment arises whether I'm ready or not we're definitely raring to go yeah I mean I'm like you say I'm on the grass right now the sessions are, are nothing short of hard so I'm not gonna lie this morning it was quite tough as you see but yeah like I say I've, I've never been hungry and I've and I want to return as soon as possible